Trend. Oh, that is a word that I think is overused. It is a word that we rely on so often to assume that we're setting ourselves as being the best in the industry. People refer to me as a trendsetter. I want to make sure that I'm never a trend follower, nor do I want you to be a trend follower. But trend is a very important word. How do we develop trends? You see, what it really is, is, is that you're coming up with a great idea. You're not, you can't really forecast what tomorrow is going to be. Everyone says, forecast the trends for the next year ahead. Impossible. But what you can do is forecast concepts that you truly want to engage with, concepts and designs and executions of events that you really want to do for clients. And when the right client comes for that concept that you envision, that becomes your trend. Now, a lot of people over the many years I've been in this business just have said, how do you keep from other people from copying you. you. You can't do that. I mean, the reality is if someone copies you, that's a form of flattery. And a form of flattery means that you set a trend and now they're following it. So what I always say is, if you come up with a concept that's so brilliant and fabulous, people start copying you, let them have it. Let them take it and move away and take it as a compliment and spend the energy and the time on figuring out what your new look is. For your next client. Yes, that's probably the word trend, but the reality is, is if you're good enough to create something that other people want to create again, that means I guess that you're trendy. I guess that means that you have set the tone, that you are setting the standards. And that's why you'll join me at the event planning symposium, where I'll teach you how to set the tone and the standards and allow people to follow what you do and you step forward in the light and you are the trend.